everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Heather the Confetti Stitcher. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. I've got a lot of work to do today, but I did want to show you guys my progress from last video. I forgot to do my intro clip before I stitched, but this is what we are working on. It is... Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart, designed by Heaven and Earth Designs. And we're working up here in this area, mostly actually like here. But I'm almost always a top left starter. And this one is being done one over one, no, sorry, two over one. 10 stitch and I'm using it for the whip go it was called during whip go and I'm using it for the epic journeys event in full coverage fanatics so I put in 1334 stitches and here is where we are, because I am tent stitching this, I have to do double the amount. So I'm trying to get it all done in January, but the next one I'm working on is, which one is it? I have to look up the name of it. I'm trying to work in all of these parked threads that going because I really don't like parking. It's not as easy to store. Sorry, something fall out. Let's see. It is the it's 6700 stitches. I know that. Oh, we're going to the source of the Nile. So it's 6700 stitches, which I have to double for the 10 stitches. So like I said, it's already the 16th. But I think I'm making good progress and I think I can finish on time. My baby's second birthday is coming up February 2nd. So I have party planning to do. <laughs> so that's going to take up some time. And we have some travel coming up. So we'll see how that goes. But as of now, that's going to be our starting point. Hopefully I can get some stitching done today. We'll have to see when I get my work completed but other than that that's all I have thank you guys so much I forgot to say welcome welcome everybody if you've been here a while or if you're new I hope you guys enjoy we're doing a lot of full coverage and this particular vlog is I think gonna be all that um I don't see me finishing that many stitches in a week so anyway that's all I have for you guys I will see you all in the next clip Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Wednesday, January 17th. It is 10.30 in the morning. And I put in like 433 stitches, I think, yesterday. And we have exactly 10,000 stitches. And we are getting close to finishing out the colors. So we have another blue threaded right now which I think is gonna fill in a lot of over here. I think a little bit down here and then it's gonna come over here. I got a lot of work done yesterday. I've got a fair amount to do today. <coughs> so we will see what else I can get accomplished. But I also got an order from 123 Stitch. I decided to get some more 8x8 Q snaps. I basically, what do you call it? Put these with other Q snaps to make different sizes. So I like the 8 inch for the height because, like, putting my hand up underneath gets really sore if I have it any longer than that. And I think the ones that I have now are about. I think they're 10 or 12s. So when I, I'm gonna, it's not too bad with this one. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one on there and then 
in February when the next Whipco gets called, then I'll switch these out. And and actually this one's not even a Q-snap anyway, this is one I made myself. So I'll be able to switch them out. And they're not compatible, like I can't use the PVC pipe with the Q-snaps because they don't fit well together. So, because I got that, they can't travel alone, so I got a pattern as well. So I got the Shannon Christine Halloween Party pattern, which says it has French knots. I think the only French knots are the little nail, so like here and then on either side of the spooky banner. And it looks... There's two colors of backstitch, and I think it's just the string of the spooky banner, this handle, and then the spider webs are the white. Oh, and then the um, candle wicks on the candles. But I had this one on my wish list, and I think it's super cute. So who knows when, if I will start that one. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I have for now. Hopefully I can get some good progress in <coughs> Excuse me, tonight, but I will check in with you all hopefully tomorrow. Hi everybody, welcome back. It is Thursday, January 18th. It is 3.30 in the afternoon and I think I'm going to start stitching for the day, but baby boy is home, so we will see how that goes. I put in 783 stitches yesterday. I just realized my light isn't on, <laughs> which got us to where we only have three, I think it's actually four colors left. So we did get the turret, I think is what it's called, of the castle there outlined. And I have several mess ups in here. I think it's because when I started the pattern, it was before it was the original pattern and then they released a new pattern that didn't have one of the DMC colors in it because it was rendering different in the software. And so they decided to remove that color. So it kind of screwed everything up, but since I had already started, I kind of had to go back and forth between the two charts. And so I think that caused a lot of my screw ups. So we're gonna see how it ends up looking because I'm not starting over, but we are starting to get, I think this is the outline of the owl right here. So we're getting some fun stuff put in. And all this yellow I think is books. But yeah, and we got a lot of this blue put in yesterday. So that's where we're at and I will hopefully check in with you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Saturday, January 20th. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't come to you yesterday because I was, I just woke up feeling super, super nauseous. And so I spent some of the day in bed and then some of it on the couch dying a little bit. And then I was starting to feel better in the afternoon-ish. So I did get a little stitching in um, and was able to hang out with baby boy and help hubby out. So I, like I said, did get some stitching in and I got a little stitching in the day before, but it was just a super busy work day on Friday. So I put in like 202 stitches, I think. And then I put in 475 yesterday, I think. But the good news is that we got all of the Flosses worked in, and so now we can start working on the single colors at a time and start doing the typewriter method. So I'm going to do this one the same way as I'm doing museum shelf where I'm doing typewriter method across the whole page, and then I'll be working the pages from left to right. But, yeah, starting to, I think, look good. 
we are working right now with this super bright 995. So I think baby boy is not going to take a nap today because he sounds like he's just having too much fun in his crib. But we need to go shopping for his party supplies for his birthday, which is coming up and need to go run to Target. So you might be able to hear him not having so much fun now, but ready to get out. Um, we put him down like 45 minutes ago, so we'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to let y'all go here, hopefully get some stitching in, and talk to you all tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Sunday, January 21st. It is 10.30 in the morning. Baby boy had another rough night last night, so I am feeling the effects. But I put in like, I think it was right around 650 stitches yesterday. So we are getting a lot of those blues filled in. So we got a lot more up top here. And I'm actually not sure what color comes in next, so I gotta go look at that. But it's fun seeing this, all these blues coming down here. You hear baby boy in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, just working working our way down and across. So it's looking really good on camera actually. So I'm going to hopefully get some more progress in today. I did the calculations last night and there is, I don't think any way I can finish this task in January. So I think it'll be close, but I would have to do like 800 stitches a day. And based on recent events, I don't think that's gonna happen. So we'll see where I can get to and I gotta go pull the next color for it, but I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Monday, January 22nd. It is pretty much noon and I put in 860 stitches yesterday, I think. So Getting some of those darker colors in there, but this area right here is very confetti heavy, so <clears throat> a lot of white I put in went in there. But we're just going to continue on with it and see what we can do. I'm surprised I got that much put in, but I don't expect that to continue. <laughs> so I'm going to, I think... I'm able to stitch now. I got to double check work, but I'm kind of in between stuff right now. So I'm going to do that and hopefully see you all tomorrow. Hey everybody. Welcome back. Today is <clears throat> Tuesday, January 23rd. It is almost noon. I have a meeting starting at noon, but just dropped the floss. I put in 1,080 stitches yesterday. So the only way I'm pretty sure that happened is because I filled in this bit right here, which was all 939. That darker strip right there. So I was going to get more in actually, but baby boy has been having a lot of difficulty sleeping lately. And so he won't go to sleep without one of us in there. And my husband's sick, so it's all on me. But I did put in three colors yesterday, I think. Okay, well that just won't go up there, so it's going to go on the floor. So <laughs> we'll see if I can finish on time. I don't think I will, but I'm really curious to see what gets pulled next for Whipco, which is in two days, because I want to get next week's or next month's projects figured out as far as, because I have a couple of projects that will get a lot of progress really fast, I think, and then some like museum shelf that will just take forever. So I'm curious to see, especially because next month is a shorter month. So 
I'm just gonna work on getting a lot of progress. Hopefully finishing up this uh, epic journey task and we'll see where we go. So I'm going to leave you here because I think this is a good place to stop. My next vlog, I guess you just call it a vlog. I was gonna say, I usually say vlog series, but vlog will be um, up until the end of January. So you will see next month if I achieve my goals. I mean, I'm gonna achieve them anyway, just if I achieve them in January or not. And if I'm like a day away, I might be tempted to just finish them up and do the vlog, the end of the vlog then. So hopefully you'll see me on the 31st, but that is all for me today. Thank you all so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, asking questions, all that sort of stuff. I really appreciate you all and I will see you all in the next one.